Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. I am T Red Time. And let's get started. Uh I think today I think today we're gonna go I'm not as you could tell from the other episodes, I'm not doing anything in order. I'm not I'm not completing like any worlds at all. I'm not going like world to world. I'm just doing any level that I feel like doing. That's how I roll. We're gonna go to Pinna Park because um I haven't I haven't been there in forever. I've only done the first time. That's it. I've got a bunch of blue coins there, but that's not too much of an importance. But uh, this yeah, I had a feeling that this was the secret level, but uh, yeah. But now we're able to get the uh, uh, the mama. Uh, uh, excuse me. We're able to get the blue coins now because of this guy. And hopefully, I can also show off some cool trick that you can do. It's a bit tricky to do at first, but once you get used to it, then it's a lot easier. But well, hopefully I can pull it off, like, first try maybe, second try. It'll be also fine. This is also, like, one of the easiest levels to get the 100 coin shine in. I'm not saying that it's, it's short, it's, it's just easy because there's no way you can not get 100 coins in this level. You're just gonna hit the bullet bills and that's it, then you could. So there's really no way in this one that you can not get 100 coins. So yeah. And so you get the other blue coins. Wait for the purple one. Oh, come on. Oh, come here, come here, come here. No, come here. Oh, why? No, no, come here, come here. Thank you. Final. Jeez. That took way too long. Is it purple? No, it's just a gold one. The gold ones give out like 10 coins. Probably not gonna get them all when, when they land, but... 10 coins, still, that's still... That's still a pretty good amount. Oh, this one's still following me? Ah, oh, no. I could've done like a 2 and one and we have been done already. Oh well. So keep waiting. Okay, I always do. Now the easy way to do this is to put your camera all the way out as far as possible. Because then, if you do that, then it's easy to see in front of you and behind you, so you can tell how, how far away the... You can see, you can tell how far away the bullet bill is, and if you need to like move it all. So this one's gonna go in a weirdest direction to follow us. But... I believe we got all the blue coins that we can get here. There's no more baskets, right? We got all of them, I think. There's only five, and we do get five. Yeah, I I counted my head just now. We get five. Okay, we can move on now. Um, let me see if I can do it. Gotta wait till they gotta wait till they stop shooting those guys. Ah, oh, dang, I almost had it. That was close. But as you can see what I just did, that's how you... Oh, I did it wrong again. Oops, I died. What's, what does hurt me? Can these guys seriously like hurt you by them just touching you? That's how you do it. Now, to actually get in there, you have to throw the bombs back at him three times, because almost everything in the Mario games take three hits. But... Uh, the mole, the mole itself, I think he is a mole, he doesn't, he himself doesn't have his own hitbox, so basically if you can just go where he is, then basically nothing will happen to you, you just basically phase right through him, because he, like I said, like I just mentioned, he doesn't have his own hitbox, so, but he will, he will go back, he will cover the hole if you get too close, and so that's why you, that's why you gotta do a, the backflip, uh, slide. That's what I'm gonna call it now. That's why I go to the back flip side because that will, because you'll be you're, you're able to go far enough where he can't see you, but then you get you can get able to get close enough at that point, and then and then you're just good. I I probably explained that in the worst way possible, but yeah, he's not able to see you from the distance that you were originally, but since you pick up so much speed with that move, 
Uh, he's like unable, the mole's unable to react fast enough. Let me just do that just for safe measures because sometimes, sometimes, I kid you not, I will fall off by doing a regular jump. I don't know why, I just, I just mistime my jump for some reason, I don't know why. But I do it anyway. You know, I turned down my TV just uh, like one or two so it wouldn't pick up as much because I actually was wrong and it did pick up in the microphone. But uh, the game audio itself, since it was just the game audio, the actual game audio recorded from my capture card, my capture device, I uh, just was, was flushed it out basically. You know, the only problem is that I had to make my game almost as loud as my voice, so you won't. So if you're able to like, if you're having troubles like hearing what I was talking about, that's sorry. I had the TV too loud, but I turned it down a bit, so it it should pick up less. But I actually I'm gonna continue the theme. And I'm gonna do the secret shine that's over here because I like continuing on themes. Wait a minute, I just, I just, I just, I just remembered, I just realized something. I never got this blue coin. I never did this, I never did this one, I thought I was done. I actually wasn't. <laughs> I'm gonna go to this one quickly. I can't leave, I can't leave any woman without a fruit hanging. But still, the point being that, like, pe the people that make the joke, for the most part will understand that, yes, they wouldn't like it either. But they're trying to make fun of the situation because no one likes it, and they're just trying to make they're just trying to get happy. Well, and, and they do that by making a joke about it because, like, do you want to like sit down all day and think about the bad thing when you can like think about a good thing? Like, clearly, there's a better way to go at it. And people that make jokes about it, that, that that's in my opinion a better way to go at it. Because otherwise, it's going to be like really tough to find a better way to go at it, I mean, besides like getting mad at people that make jokes about it, like, don't do that. Also, you shouldn't constantly make jokes about it, about stuff either, like, you gotta take a break sometimes. Like, there's some times where you just shouldn't do it, and that, that's understandable for me. Yeah, that, that, that there is understandable, it's just, oh, beef, beef. People need to lighten up a bit. I mean, come on. And I seriously have no idea what's with me and Stream of Sunshine, but like, for some reason I play it and I start ranting about stuff. Like, what? This is so weird. I don't want to see like quotes from verses, but like, whenever they play it, whenever they play Super Mario Sunshine, their commentary was like through the roof. Like, it was definitely like completely different from what they normally do. It was a lot more, uh, I would say, uh, as how Tyler says, colorful. And yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use that one. Just colorful, is it? But me, for some reason, I start ranting. I don't know why. It's pretty weird, actually. But oh well. You gotta you gotta deal with it. You know. This shine's pretty easy. The secret shine, this one's pretty easy. It's just that if you do that, and that was literally what I was just about to start talking about. It was the momentum. What you don't want to do is rush things and get momentum from the blocks. That's what you don't want to happen. And because for me, uh, for the most part, if once you get the momentum, you'll start freaking out. And then you're like, you'll, Mario will be all sporadic and stuff because he doesn't know what he's doing. But yeah. I'm good now. I shouldn't need to get that one up because I don't think I. Oh, oh god, I need to. I do need to. Never mind. Uh, I realize how many lives I didn't have. Ugh. I'm gonna go here. And go here, okay. I just hate, I, I hate when it's like right in front of you. Like, I like the ones that are like 
moving, but like not in your direction. That one, that one right there is like the most scary one because like you can, it's like so easy to fall. Fine, got that one up. I want him dead because if I die, then it won't make a difference because I have an extra life. That's the thing about secret levels, they give out, they give out so many, so many lives. Like, you can actually make bank on secret levels if you can get all the one ups and then just die. Because I think, I believe some of them have three, if I'm not mistaken. Like, okay, three. Yeah, three one ups. That means you get two extra lives then. Like, the ones they give you, too, that's fine as well, but that's not as good because then the second one's usually at the end, which isn't this well to get to the end, you know, obviously, if you, if you can make it that far, that's the purpose that you've been trying to stock up on one-ups, but, you know, whatever, enough of that. If you're ever running, if you're ever running low on one-ups, uh, if you just come over here, just come over here. Every time you go back to the Delfino Plaza, just come over here. There's literally, there's literally a one-up every time you come back. I believe it comes back. But yeah, if you're, if you're just, if you're just low to for one-ups, you don't want to like, you just, you don't want to like waste other lives. If you don't want to like kill yourself, like, say you have one life left and you don't want to like, kill yourself because you don't feel like it. Like, you are doing no death run. The one-up right there, I'm pretty sure you always respawn and come back. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go back to Rico Harbor. I think the next shine is the next squid fight, right? Oh, yeah. Goober Goober returns. Now you actually have to fight him three times. The uh, third time being undiscovered as of now because I haven't been to that world yet. I'm not going to tell you either, if you somehow haven't played this game yet. And even though it's a really old game, if you haven't played it, you definitely should. You don't have to record it like I'm doing, but if you are going, if you are going to record it like I am telling you, then I just might watch it. Because I love people playing my most favorite game. Unless you're doing a playthrough of it and you hate it and you keep like hating on the game, that's all the commentary is, then I won't watch you. Because you're not worth my time. Even if you're playing a game that I hate as well, you're still not worth my time because I don't. It's it's that's not fun to listen to. And I try to I try to make my commentary fun to listen to. Apparently, by ranting about everything, like I like I am still doing. For whatever reason. Let's see if we can do this. I don't know, actually. Do you, how, how does it do that? It's so weird, like, it like switches at the very last second. Okay, we got him, we're good. Yeah, we're good, we're done. We must find where to fight it. As the text box still appears. Or is still visible after we killed it. Yeah, whatever. Not a bother at all. Who cares anyway? Who cares? Who cares because we just got another shine sprite. Ah, uh, freaking yeah. Also, if you couldn't tell, I don't like swearing. It's not because I'm not allowed to. It's, not, it's nothing like that. It's not because I don't. It's not because I. It's not well. What am, I, what am I trying to say? It's not because I can't, it's because I don't want to. Like, here's the thing, here's the thing. For me, swearing is the easy way out. Like, and for me, if you have to swear because you can't express your feelings in any other way, like, I don't know. Like, when I swear, I feel like a complete idiot. Okay? I'm not going to touch up on that, either. I'm not going to keep talking about this, but like... Like, 
sometimes, like, sometimes just, sometimes just do stuff that you never like. And so, I, 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 I saw an answer before, I'm not gonna lie and say that I haven't. Because sometimes it just happens, you know? Sometimes you just get really mad. Like when you play Meeplay, for example. Sometimes you just get really mad. And stuff just happens that you don't want to happen. That's just the gist of it. Is he gonna come over here? I don't think he is, but... Wait, is he gonna now? Or still no? Uh, I guess not. Should've gotten up, should go down here to begin with. Just watch him now go to that one. It's gonna happen. Okay, well we got him. Oh uh, yeah. There we go. We have got him once. Two more hits and he's he's a goner. He is a complete goner. He's a lot more angry now. Um I'm just gonna make this one go off. If he happens to run into it, which he didn't, he avoided it completely and utterly. Like the guy that he is. Okay, we got him. We got him. Oh, we got lucky. Look out. Talk about getting super lucky. Jeez. I don't have to even get any closer to him except at the very bottom of his booty. And right in the booty. Yeah, you wanna go? You wanna go? I'll take you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you're bad. You're bad at this game. Huh. Yeah, you won't win. You suck. Yeah, that's right. You gonna take that? You get him one more time? Come on. Uh, he's over here. He goes, he goes to this one now. I've been trying to get at him from the since the beginning. There we go. Ooh. Talk about super lucky. Is uh, the part that we needed the ground pound was right on the land. Talk about lucky. Jesus. The entire fight was just pure luck, but also I mean. If I sucked at the game, obviously I wouldn't have been able to do the stuff that I did, but, you know. Yeah, it, was, it was a bit of both, but it was more so luck, because sometimes Wiggler will just go completely in the water, and you can't hit him, because he's submerged. And you know what happens when you ground pound into water? You ground pound, your ground pound stops completely and utterly, rendering it useless. Which means you can't, you can't ground pound stuff that's underwater, which means it where if Wiggler is underwater, you cannot ground pound him, which also, which means that you cannot hit him. So if he falls in the water and you need to hit him in a spot that's in the water, you just have to wait, because you cannot do anything about that. And that thing's going to keep going off, and it's not going to stop going off, because there's no way to stop it. At least I don't think so. I think for sure just keep going off and off. We're not going to go back to this pitch, because I know what shines after that one, and we're not doing that one yet. Um, I almost just want to go over here quickly, because I know there's a bird over here. If there's a bird over here that uh, that will give you a shine, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't appear right away. Because you have to get like a certain number of shines first to be able to like, get the bird over here. But yes, indeed, there is a bird here, so we're gonna go get that bird. Go, we've got the bird. And it's way over there. <sighs> That's gonna take a while. But anyways, we've collected yet another shine sprite. 25 out of 120? We'll get this in no time. Easy. This is gonna be easy. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna end things here. I think it's. I think it's been. I think it's been running off too long. Maybe not. I can't tell. I don't have a timer going. 
but uh yeah um leave a like if you enjoyed the video it means a lot to me it really it really does i'm not kidding uh also subscribe if you like my content and want to see more uh because that, that, help, that lets me know that people know about me that actually that people are actually able to find me and people actually care um and yeah, I mean, I guess I've been Tyranton, and this has been uh, Super Mario Sunshine. So yeah, uh, bye.